Kalai Momani, Sri G. Hari Shankar Admirer's Circle. Welcomes you all on this Remembrance Day of legendary Ganjira Myastra. As a luminary enthralling millions of hearts with his incredible caresses on a simple frame drum called Ganjira. As a legend who rewrote the concept of emancipated yet sophisticated percussion. As a true artist with humility and devotion. Harishankar started playing the Ganjira even when he was three years old. His initial training started with his father who taught him methodically. By the time he turned five, he was playing for bhajans. He had a stint with Madras Sri A. Kannan before coming under the tutelage of Ramanadabaram Sri C. S. Murugabhupati. He played his first ever concert when he was seven years old. Harishankar was almost regular in Srimati M. L. Vasanta Kumari's concerts after he was introduced to her by Mridangam Vidwan Tanjavo Sri Krishnamurti Rao. M. L. V. saw to it that Harishankar honed his skills under the old-time percussion giant Palgat Sri T. S. Maniyar for about two years. Harishankar had accompanied all the great doins of yore, such as Semmangudi Sri R. Srinivas Iyer, Srimati M. S. Subalakshmi, Srimati D. K. Pattamal, Sri D. K. Jayaraman, Sri K. V. Narayana Swami, Dr. Sri M. Balamurli Krishna, Lalgudi Sri G. Jayaraman, Sri T. R. Mahalingam, and Sri N. Ramani, to name a few. He played with Sri Pandit Ravi Shankar, Sri Pandit Birju Maharaj, and Sri Ustad Zaki Ruzain. He was graded eight up artist in All India Radio and was also part of the Vadhivranda group. Recipient of many titles including Kalai Mamani and Sangeet Nataka Academy, Harishankar had travelled widely in India and overseas. Many musicians feel that Sri Harishankar's talent is a gift of God that made him synonymous with his instrument. Musicians especially recall the clarity of his ganjira and the drum effect that he could produce. He was more at home while handling most complex palavis without any rehearsal. He is considered by many to be the greatest ganjira player till date. His deft handling of the ganjira, anticipatory flourishes, memory power in reproducing all that was played by the mridangam player during the thani rounds never failed to amaze the rasikas and the artists. Some of his best performances in albums were with the Shrutilaya group along with Kare Kudishri Armani's percussion team. He performed in several other albums of his including Laya Chitra, Shrutilaya Grand Finale. His unique speciality while accompanying songs or while playing solo, he played with great control and speed in an amazing fashion. Hence the great Sangeet Vidwan Sponder on is Hari Shankar a god of Kanjira? Yes, it is true that his name truly reflects it as God Hari and God Shiva, in other words Shankar, on Ganjira equals God Hari and Shankar? No, it is Ganjira Hari Shankar, the legend. Yes, words fail to describe his unparalleled prowess and skills of this great artist. We take this opportunity to present before you some of the excerpts from his scintillating live recitals. <laughs> 